Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Journey to Be Me. Thank you for joining me today. This is Lynn, I'm gonna talk to you guys today about ghosting. Have you ever been ghosted? <laughs> I have, and the shit was not fun at all. Uh, before we get started, before I put on the wig of the week, I'd like for you guys to comment, subscribe, and um, sign up for the notification so you'll be alerted every time I share a new video with you. So I'm gonna put on my little wig and we're gonna talk about ghosting in just a second. Hey guys, so this is Vella Bella, and this wig is K. Um, it is a twin kind of of Diva from last week. It's a Bob wig, and it's the same manufacturer, but this one is entitled K, and this color is BK Purple. Um, I call this one Edna. Edna is one of my favorite people that I used to work with um, a few years ago, and so I like the name Edna. Reminds me of Edna from The Incredibles, you know, the little character from The Incredibles, and so I decided to sell on Edna for this one. It's a cute wig, just like Edna's a cute and wonderful person, so hey, Edna. Um, so let's talk about ghosting, guys. Let's talk about that bull, okay? Have you ever been ghosted? <laughs> I have. So, hmm, let me go back. I was dating this guy that I was really into who was stationed, um, not stationed, but he was working overseas and he would work 28 days here and 28 days overseas. And I was really into him and usually when I'm into someone, I tend to get very emotional, especially at the beginning. When I feel like there's a connection, I get very emotional and um, connected from the very beginning. And this guy was just an asshole to me. Um, he, I guess maybe he knew how I felt about him from the very beginning. And as a result, he treated me like I was disposable. He went from texting every day. And guys, by the way, we like it when you text us. If we like you, we like that good morning text. We like that good night text. So you might want to take, take a little note because we like that shit. Okay. Anyway, so this guy went from texting every day, communicating with me every day to barely hearing from me, hearing from him. It just was, it just went south. So I tried to express myself to him. And like I said, I have a tendency to be emotional when I care about somebody a lot. And I cared about him a lot. And you know what he did? He basically vanished. Like he just stopped talking to me. I don't know if he blocked my number or, or what, but he went from talking to me all the time to not at all. And I, I just have a real issue with ghosting. And let me explain to you why. Um, communication is my... It is, is my life force. I like to talk, if you guys can't tell. And when you decide to not talk to me, when you decide to cut me off, that's like kryptonite to me. That That is very painful to me. When you stop talking to me, when you stop communicating with me, that is very serious to me. And so this particular guy, I'm not going to name him, but my friends all know who he is. And my friends all know why he's blocked at this point. Because, <laughs> you know, two can play that game. Uh, anyway... Uh, he just left and he just stopped talking to me and that was some bull. And when I look back on it, you know, cause this has been a few years ago. How big is it to tell that person, Hey, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hey, you're into it more than I'm into it. Or I don't want to see you anymore. Or tell them something. You guys don't realize, and I say guys, but I mean girls too. Okay. Cause girls can ghost too. You don't realize the damage that you make on people that actually care about you or care for you when you choose to not talk to them at all, okay? That is just complete and total bull. Complete and total bull. If you don't want to talk to that person anymore, be man enough, be woman enough to say, hey, look, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to deal with your emotional shit. I don't want to deal with the fact that you don't have a job, a car, you live, you live with your mama, whatever. Whatever the reason is, be man enough to talk to that person. Be woman enough to talk to that person because they deserve that, Okay? I have been ghosted before, and I'm telling you, that shit is not cool. It, don't feel, it doesn't feel good when someone just decides to just stop talking to you, and they don't tell you, I'm not talking to you. So you wonder, did I do something? Did I say something? Did, did, they, did, I, did, did, did they decide that they didn't want me? Did, is there somebody else? You're left with all these questions. When well, you can just answer the damn questions and just tell that person, I don't want to talk to you anymore because uh, you got say light on your booty. I don't want to talk to you anymore because you got a small penis. Whatever the reason is, tell the person, okay? Talk to them. Ghosting is just not cool, okay? So, if I could sum this whole video up, it would be, don't ghost, grow some balls, okay? Grow some balls and tell that person, I don't want to talk to you anymore, okay? Look, 
It's not going anywhere. You're full of bull. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Tell that person. Don't just stop talking to them. Don't just block them, okay? Talk to them and be real with them because you want the person to be that same way with you if they decide to stop talking to you, okay? You want them to be real with you. You want them to be open with you and share their true feelings about you. Whether they don't have any feelings at all, they, you want the truth. So to sum this up, guys, ghosting, over -go don't ghost, okay? Just don't do it. Talk to the person, okay? Tell them, hey, look, uh, although we've come to the end, the road. You know, the end of the road, tell them. We're at the end of the road. Don't just be, just stop talking to them, okay? That's happened to me before, and it hurt like hell, guys. That shit hurt like hell because I was left still feeling these feelings with this person, still trying to reach out to this person. This person just didn't talk to me at all. And I will never do a person like that. I will never do a man like that. I will, I will always tell you, hey, bro, look, your breath stink. Hey, bro, uh, I don't like the way you dress. Uh, hey, bro, you need to get a job. You're living with your mama. Whatever. I'm going to tell you whatever the reason is. I'm going to let you know because that's the kind of person that I am. And I would appreciate anybody that talks to me, friends, men, whatever. If you don't want to talk to me anymore, say that. Don't just leave without saying anything. Let me know so that I can, I can deal with my emotions. I can have closure. Okay? And closure is important. We all know that. So, Again, guys, thank you for watching. Like I said to you before in several of my videos, this is therapy for me. Talking to you guys makes me feel better about the status that is my life. It helps me feel better about my own shit to talk to you guys about my shit. It helps me feel a whole lot better. So I hope that you will continue to join me every week here on my channel. Please subscribe and sign up for those notifications so that you will know whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for joining me again, and I will get back to each and every one of you guys if you leave a comment or a question. Thank you so, so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.